Hey Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Luna signs in Cancer. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right, so let's see. Cancer, we have chaos. All right. So this is the overall energy for the first half of October. So things might be feeling a little bit chaotic, a little bit out of control, um, possibly like you don't know what is going on. It's not the best energy to be in, uh, but it oftentimes leads to a new beginning or to something really clearing up. So let's see, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of October, 2021. What is going on here? All right, for the recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so a major shift, a major change that happened. For your energy, we have the Moon, that's Pisces energy, as well as the Ace of Swords. All right, so yeah, you might be a little bit confused. You might not know exactly what is going on. I'm even getting a little bit of um, depression here, possibly. But I feel like with this Ace of Swords, like you're actually able to find some truths within yourself. Um, or even concerning this connection. And there's some action here that you might also be taking, which is very, very positive. So possibly even a new beginning here, all right, um, that is going to be more authentic or it's going to feel more true, more real, more honest. For them, we have the Four of Cups and the Fool. So this person is, in, is also feeling a little bit of depression. So it's like the both of you are. And it could be because of this chaos. So maybe, I mean, I might clarify this Wheel of Fortune to see what that, what that is about, what it is that may have um, happened here to cause this chaos. But it's, it's kind of getting both of you to feel a little bit on, on the downside. All right, but again, it's interesting how I feel like your energies are kind of aligned here, all right? Because we have the Four of Cups right under the moon, so both talking about some kind of a depressed energy, maybe some um, discontentment, and then the Fool right under the Ace of Swords. So this is taking a leap of faith. This is um, beginning on a new path. So let's see, what is coming up for you? We have the Ten of Pentacles, all right, good. That's, that's stability, that's commitment for them the star all right okay so i'm very happy to see this because it's like you're coming out of this whatever this is whatever is getting you to reach this like rock bottom type of a mood or energy you're both moving out of that and there's a lot of hope here all right for this person there is also healing this is a wish or a wish fulfillment all right this is also aquarius energy and let's see, for the final outcome, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so assertiveness. Assertiveness and going after what it is that, that you want. So it does look like things are, are moving in a very positive direction here for you. So let's clarify. So let's see chaos. Why is the chaos here? What is this about? All right, we have the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, obviously the details are going to be different for everybody, but what I'm getting here in general is that there is a lot of feeling stuck, um, and possibly even a lot of fear when it comes to how to work to bringing about a, a reconciliation, like how can the two of you work together or what is it that you need to focus on or how can you even put the effort in it, almost like not even knowing what it is that you need to work on. Like how can you even make things right? How can this reconciliation even be possible? It's it's almost like at the moment, it's feeling like it's impossible. 
Like there are just so many obstacles that you wouldn't even know where to begin working on them. All right. So I feel like that's how, that's how the situation feels at the moment. And it doesn't mean that you don't know how to work towards this, it could be that you're feeling this about the other person, like that there's just so many things that have gone wrong that you don't know how the other person can actually um, fix all of this for a reconciliation, okay? So take that as it resonates. Let's see this Wheel of Fortune, which is for the recent past. All right, the Two of Swords, the Hanged Man, and Death. Okay, so there, there was possibly either some waiting or things just felt stuck. I feel like with this Two of Swords, there's been a lot of um, not agreeing, not seeing eye to eye, some conflict between the two of you. Possibly even one person not really being able to see the full picture or not being able to really understand what is going on with the other person. And, and this could actually even go both ways. So I feel like that's what shifted and it shifted kind of maybe suddenly, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like things were different before, before this. Maybe things were just smoother. And then it just got to this point where because you weren't able to see eye to eye or really connect, in, in views or in perception or in communication, whatever, it felt like this connection was stuck. And because of that, I feel like there's just been this, some kind of an ending, or it feels like an ending. So that is the shift here. Um, <clears throat> Let's, let's see, let's clarify the moon for your energy. And again, that's Pisces energy. Some of you might have Pisces strongly in your chart. Others of you might be dealing with a Pisces. All right, and we have the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune showing up again. Yeah, because you still feel you still feel the passion for this. All right, and that's why it feels chaotic. Obviously, you know, if you if you didn't have any emotions for this person, then you wouldn't be feeling like like it even really matters. But that's not the case. I feel like you do want things to work out. You do want things to come back together. Um but you're not really sure if they can because because it just feels like things have changed recently so much that again, it just feels like there's this stuckness to the situation, almost like not knowing, you know, can it be any different? Can it go back to how it was? Or or um, if there wasn't a before this, <laughs> um, can it be fixed? Can things turn in a different direction? I feel like you have a lot of doubts about that and um, it's creating, like I said, like a little bit of a depressed kind of an energy for you. You could even be having some repressed feelings. Um, so I feel like the message here is to really see what this is triggering in you when it comes to your past. See what this brings up for you. Like when have you felt this this way before in the past? Because it could be that this is happening in order for you to bring up something um, for healing. Let's see the Ace of Swords. Cancer, what is going on here with you? Look at this. We have the moon showing up again for you. The tower, which is like that chaos. And the nine of cups. I do feel like you're finding out some truths about yourself. Um, it's almost like the universe is, is like pushing you to hit rock bottom here, feeling like something is being destroyed. And I do feel like this, even though it could be um, in regards to this connection, there's something a lot deeper about this, all right? A lot deeper. Like, I can't even stress that enough. There is something here that you are meant to discover about yourself, about your needs, about your wants, about the way that you desire things or the way about the way that you desire um, another person or a connection 
you know, and it's not even desiring that other person. It's what does, how does that fulfill you? What is it that you, what need is being met through this connection? Because that could be like an insecurity or a wound from your past that is still open. I feel like it's not really the other person here that you're feeling this energy towards. It's more of like um, some kind of a gap or some kind of like something within your own self that makes you think that it is concerning the other person when actually it's not. So is it that, you know, um, you want to feel loved? Well, it's not this person that is going to make you feel loved. Do you see what I'm saying? Like that's not, that's not what's going to fulfill this. <clears throat> so this is happening in order to, to bring the, whatever this is to your awareness. Is it the affection? But, you know, dig deeper. Why, why do you feel like you need this affection to the extent that when you don't have it, you're, you're in this chaos. So I hope that, I hope that this makes sense. Um, this is something that I think most of us end up going through at some point in our lives. And if we haven't gone through this already, like <laughs> we probably will because we all have shadows that we need to work with, um, unresolved issues from the past, insecurities. You know, this is just a natural part of life. So. And I feel like it's just that during this time period, this is when the universe is bringing it up for you, all right? If this reading resonates, again, this um, the roles can be reversed, number one. Number two, it's not going to be everybody's situation because it is a general reading, okay? So if it's not, if you feel like this is not you, that's, that's okay. That's okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you want. Um, all right, let's move on to your person. Let's see this Four of Cups. Nothing came out for the Four of Cups, and I feel like that's because I was just getting another message for you here, which is that for some of you, um, part of what is changing here is actually your desires, like what, what it is that you want. I feel like that's what you're realizing. You're realizing what it is that you do want and what it is that you don't want, and that maybe something you thought you wanted isn't really what you truly want. And so even that can be very scary to deal with sometimes, or it can be just very difficult to have um, to have a shift in what it is that we want. And it's not even a shift in what we want. It's realizing, oh my gosh, like I don't. This isn't even really what I want. I was wanting it for the wrong reasons, so I don't want this anymore. That's an adjustment um, that then needs to happen. And adjustments are can always be difficult. All right, let's see. Four of cups. There's very intense energy that is happening here, apparently. All right, for the Four of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Yes, okay, so this other person here, they're, they're guarded. Um, they're feeling very, again, just very depressed, possibly very disappointed. And so I feel like they're, they're feeling these impulses, they're feeling this drive um, to do something, but it's almost like they don't really know what what exactly it is that they want to do. So I do see them um, being a little bit guarded here. So they could be, you know, having, appearing to have like their wall up. Let's see the full. Right. <laughs> the star showing up for them again. I love this. I love how everything just kind of ties in together. Uh, the Five of Wands and the King of Wands. They're guarded at the moment, but at the same time, it's like beneath that, there, there is some healing here. They, they are overcoming this. They're overcoming their own challenges. There's a lot of conflict um, for this person. There's a lot that they're battling with, and I feel like, again, there's a lot of either resistance, having their guard up, um, possibly even coming off as being competitive 
with you or like, you know, like allowing their ego to get in the way, almost feeling like it might even come across as them being against you. But yeah, it, and it could be a little bit um, that they're acting just on impulse. But there's, I, I love that we have the star here because there's this underlying healing that is taking place for them as well. Um, and again, when I, when I said that for you, you know, you're discovering what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want, it doesn't necessarily have to be concerning the actual person. It could even just be um, certain behaviors, certain dynamics, or, you know, a certain um, relationship dynamic. Maybe you were okay with you know, being in a um, non-committed relationship, for example, and then now you're realizing, no, you know that you're not okay with that. Okay, it could be anything. It's going to be different for each of you. So this person is dealing with their own little demons here. I feel like they're kind of fighting against against their self, but they might be projecting that onto you. And again, it's that's what's kind of happening on the surface, but beneath that, This is being divinely orchestrated in order for them to become this king of wands. Um, to really take charge and to really um, overcome certain obstacles that they're being faced with. And I feel like a major obstacle is actually um, their own self. This, this resistance. This guardedness. Um, all right, let's move on. Let's see what is coming up. Let's see that Ten of Pentacles for what is coming up for you because the energies look like they're just shifting like so much in the near future. <laughs> all right. <laughs> look at this, Cancer. We have the Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. There's, um, there's some stability that is coming up here for you. I feel like this is also coming in with like a lot of um, clarity from your end. So it's like the more that you're in this energy of, all right, you know what? Now I know exactly what I want and I'm not going to settle for anything less than what I want. And I'm not going to accept any bullshit or, you know, anything that I'm not deserving of. Once you're in that energy, it's like this Ten of Pentacles is like right there. All right, a commitment, long-term stability. So that's what you're moving towards. Let's see the star for this person here. All right, and we have the Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. All right, so this is what they are healing here, all right? When it comes to them, Avoiding or going back on what it is that they would want or um, when it comes to them being dishonest with themselves, first and foremost. This person is learning a lot, all right, and that, that is what is creating this um, healing energy. It's almost like this person is beginning to look at the situation in a new from a new perspective, like in a more practical way, from a more grounded way, I feel like it, you know, coming up, it's st that's still going to be kind of new. So it might still feel like, it might still feel like, you know, well, is this really what they want to do? Is it not? Like there might still be some trust issues here, like whether or not you can trust this. But again, I feel like, you know, the more that you, you have your boundaries and you are clear about what it is that you want, you know, the more that things are working out in your favor, regardless of this person or not. So let's see the Queen of Wands for the final outcome here. look at this we have the sun the eight of wands and the four of wands yeah you know this is definitely like i mean I, I to be honest i don't even know if it's with this person or not 
Um, I, like I said, I do see them healing. I do feel like they still have certain things to work on. And even in the upcoming future, I still feel like, you know, there's a little bit of them. It's, it's more like them creeping back up, creeping back up in a, um, in a very like humble type of a way. wanting to be more practical um but but i'm not sure if how you are actually going to deal with this or you know what it is that you want but what i do see or do see here for the outcome is the sun finally coming out right that depression being something of the past happiness and a lot of movement again towards a particular commitment a lot of confidence in that. This is somebody who is very well balanced, all right? This Queen of Wands. So that's actually a very beautiful way to end um, the reading here. So let's get the final Oracle message, if this resonated for you, Cancer. Also, this is um, Leo energy, all right, with that sun. I also feel like we have quite a bit of fire. We also had um, Scorpio showing up. All right, and for the final message, I feel like we've been getting this a lot. We have the new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. So yeah, this uh, might be a period for meditation, all right, especially when it comes to what I was talking about before for you. Um, I feel like there are a lot of repressed emotions or thoughts that are, um, even desires that are coming up, a lot of truths that are being shown to you about yourself and about, about your wants. So yeah, Cancer, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.